Welcome back to our solo playthrough narrated story of Fandelver and Below the Shattered Obelisk. Previously for our valiant band of heroes. After stabilizing Elena's condition and discovering valuable treasures amidst the remnants of their recent battle, including potions, magical artifacts, and a dwarven ale mug, the party took refuge in the priest's quarters, where they revived the captive dwarf Nundro. Following a much-needed night's rest, they decided to explore further, venturing into the collapsed cavern, where they uncovered hidden treasures buried beneath the earth, including the Gauntlets of Ogre Power. With their spirits renewed and the resolve strengthened, they press on into the depths of Wayvecko Cave. As the party cautiously makes their way into the Smelter Cavern, the air is heavy with the lingering scent of coal and metal, a stark contrast to the eerie silence that pervades the chamber. Alden's keen eyes scan the room, taking note of the blast furnace and mechanical bellows dominating the space, their dormant forms casting ominous shadows against the cold, dark walls. He grips his staff tighter, a sense of unease prickling at the back of his mind as he surveys the piles of coal and carts of unrefined ore scattered about. Elena treads lightly beside Alden, her hand resting on the hilt of her mace as she scans the chamber for any sign of movement. Finn moves stealthily at the front of the group, her keen eyes darting from shadow to shadow as she keeps a vigilant watch for hidden threats. Gareth brings up the rear, his hand firmly grasping the hilt of Talon as he surveys the room with a mixture of caution and determination. Beside him, Nundro lingers uncertainly, his brow furrowed with worry as he takes in the sight of the withered corpses strewn about the chamber. Finn whispers back to the group in a tone barely audible. I see something ahead. There are some humanoid shapes slowly milling about, and above them is… a green flame? I think there's a head in those flames. Stay back, Nundro, Gareth urges, his voice low but firm as he gestures for the dwarf to remain behind. Nundro nods reluctantly, his gaze flickering between the fallen warriors and the floating skull engulfed in green flame. Be careful, he warns, his voice tinged with concern. Alden casts mage armor on himself. And then, with a nod of reassurance, Gareth turns back to the rest of the party, his expression determined as he prepares to face whatever dangers lie ahead. Let's proceed with caution, he advises, his voice echoing softly in the cavernous chamber. See if we can't sneak up on him. Finn, for the first time, uses Longstrider on herself in hopes it will give her an added advantage in the fight to come. The party moves forward as one, their footsteps echoing softly against the cold stone floor as they advance into the heart of the smelter cavern. Tension hangs heavy in the air as they prepare to confront the undead horrors that lurk within, their resolve unyielding in the face of looming threat. With their stealth skills honed to a keen edge, Finn and Alden move through the shadows with practiced ease, ensuring that their presence remains hidden from the undead horde. Their careful steps and calculated movements grant them the element of surprise as they prepare to strike from the shadows. Finn darts forward with silent grace, her dagger flashing in the faint light as it finds its mark in the rotting flesh of a zombie. The creature lets out a guttural moan, its movements momentarily slowed by the unexpected attack. Meanwhile, Alden, the human wizard, channels arcane energy with practiced precision, unleashing a thunderous cacophony of sound as his shatter spell reverberates through the chamber. The shockwave strikes true, rattling the very bones of four zombies in the looming flame skull, a spectral menace wreathed in eerie green flame. One of the zombies collapses in a heap, its form shattered by the magical onslaught. The flame skull, its fiery gaze fixed upon the intruders, hisses with malice as it hovers menacingly above the fray. Interlopers! It sneers, its voice echoing with an otherworldly chill. Prepare to face the wrath of the undead! As the battle unfolds, the party's coordination and quick thinking come into play, weaving a tapestry of conflict and strategy within the chamber's chaotic confines. A zombie lunges forward toward Finn with a deft sidestep. She narrowly avoids the zombie's clumsy strike with her agility proving a vital asset in the heat of combat. Elena channels a blessing upon Finn, Alden, and Gareth, infusing them with a renewed sense of resolve and prowess. 
their spirits bolstered by her blessing, they steal themselves for the onslaught of undead foes converging upon them. The undead horde, driven by a primal hunger for the living, closes in on Finn with relentless determination. Finn, armed with both rapier and short sword, dances through the melee with finesse and precision, her blades finding their marks amidst the writhing mass of decayed flesh. Amidst the chaos, the Flame Skull unleashes a torrent of fiery destruction, its fireball engulfing Gareth, Elena, and Alden in a blaze of searing heat. Elena's quick reflexes spare her from the worst of the flames. While Alden's arcane ward absorbs much of the Inferno's fury, though not without strain, he also quickly casts Absorb Elements, reducing the fireball's effect. Gareth, however, bears the brunt of the attack, his resilience tested as he withstands the flames. Alden, undeterred by the flames licking at his robes, channels his arcane prowess once more, conjuring another shatter spell that reverberates through the chamber. The flame skull reels from the magical onslaught, its form flickering momentarily as the shockwave rattles nearby zombies, disrupting their advance. Gareth, his dwarven spirit unyielding, presses forward into the fray as two more zombies do the same. As the zombies lurch forward, their decaying forms driven by mindless hunger, Gareth stands firm against their onslaught. With a deft parry, he turns aside a zombie's clumsy attack, his shield deflecting the blow with practiced ease. Meanwhile, Finn, ever nimble and quick-witted, dances around the undead, her movements a blur of calculated strikes and evasive maneuvers. Elena conjures a spectral weapon that materializes with a shimmering glow. The ethereal mace slashes through the air, finding its mark on the flame skull with a burst of radiant energy, disrupting its ethereal form momentarily. With a whispered incantation, Elena then calls upon the toll of death itself, unleashing a wave of necrotic energy that consumes one of the zombies in its dark embrace. Finn and Gareth continue to deftly parry oncoming attacks from the nearby horde of zombies. In the heat of battle, Finn's rapier strikes true against a zombie, but her subsequent short sword attack misses as the undead foe shifts unexpectedly, prompting her to swiftly adjust her stance for the ongoing fray. The flame skull retaliates with a surge of elemental fire, conjuring a flaming sphere that erupts into existence near Gareth and Finn. The searing heat singes their armor, testing their resolve as they press forward in the face of adversity. Alden channels the power of thunder once more, casting shatter with precision that resonates through the chamber. The shockwave rattles the undead, hitting the flame skull and three zombies, shattering bone and sinew as one of the zombies falters under the arcane onslaught. Gareth swings his greatsword Talon with a warrior's determination. The blade cleaves through undead flesh with a resounding impact, each strike a testament to his skill and unwavering resolve. With a surge of adrenaline, he unleashes an action surge, striking down another zombie with a flurry of blows that leaves no room for hesitation. However, the searing heat of the flaming sphere scorches Gareth as he valiantly fights amongst the chaos of battle. As the battle crescendos in the collapsed cavern, Gareth parries an attack from a zombie as his protective instincts kick in and he deflects blows meant for Finn, his shield arm moving with practiced precision to ward off the undead assailants. I got you covered, Finn, he calls out, his voice filled with determination. Meanwhile, Elena's spiritual weapon strikes true against the flame skull, eliciting a hiss of rage from the fiery menace. Feel the wrath of Saluna's light, fell creature. Elena declares, her words imbued with righteous fervor. As Finn dances through the fray, her movements a blur of precision and agility, two zombies lunge at her with clumsy, rotting limbs, their attacks missing by mere inches as she effortlessly sidesteps their clumsy strikes. Is that the best you've got? Finn taunts, her voice laced with a mix of bravado and amusement. However, amidst Finn's nimble evasion, one of the zombies manages to break through Gareth's defenses, its decaying fists crashing into his armor with a bone-rattling impact. Gareth grunts in pain, his sturdy frame absorbing the blow but not without consequence as he staggers back, momentarily caught off guard by the unexpected assault. Watch your sills, he warns the group, his voice strained with exertion as he readies himself for the next wave of attacks. 
Finn darts between the zombies with the agility of a seasoned rogue. Her rapier finding its mark in the decaying flesh of one undead creature, followed swiftly by her short sword slicing through another. Take that, you brainless fiends, she taunts. But even as Finn celebrates her victories, the flame skull's burning gaze locks onto Gareth, and searing fire ray pierces through his defenses, sending him crashing to the ground, his armor smoldering from the intense heat. Gareth! Finn cries out in alarm as she nimbly dodges a second fire ray sent in her direction. Alden, sensing the urgency of the situation, channels his arcane power, summoning a barrage of magic missiles that streak through the air with unerring accuracy, striking down the flame skull. Enough from you, Alden declares triumphantly, his voice resonating with the satisfaction of a successful spell cast. Amidst the chaos and danger, Gareth fights against the encroaching darkness, his will power fueling his resolve as he manages to succeed in his death saving throw, clinging to life despite the overwhelming odds. The air crackles with tension as the battle rages on in the dimly lit chamber, shadows dancing wildly against stone walls. Finn, her reflexes honed by countless skirmishes, anticipates the zombie's clumsy attack and conjures a shimmering shield just in time the ethereal barrier deflecting the blow with a burst of arcane energy. Not today, rot breath, she quips, a smirk playing on her lips as she deftly avoids harm. Elena's spiritual weapon swings with divine grace, but the zombie proves elusive, sidestepping the spectral assault with unnatural agility. Stay still, you wretched creature! Elena growls in frustration, her brow furrowing in concentration as she readies herself. Elena then rushes to Gareth's side, her healing magic suffusing his wounds with a warm golden light as she casts Cure Wounds, bolstering his resilience in the face of adversity. Hang in there, Gareth, she encourages him, her voice a soothing balm amidst the chaos of battle. In the midst of the chaotic fray, Finn's agility proves unmatched as she swiftly sidesteps a zombie's clumsy swing, the creature's rotting fist passing harmlessly through the air as she deftly evades the attack. Nice try, but you'll have to do better than that, Finn taunts, her eyes alight with determination as she readies herself for the counterattack. Another zombie lunges toward Gareth with a wild slam, but his seasoned combat skills allow him to anticipate the creature's movements. With a deft parry, he deflects the blow, the sound of clashing steel echoing through the chamber as he maintains his stalwart defense. You'll need more than mindless aggression to best me, Gareth grunts, his voice laced with confidence as he braces for the next assault. Seizing the opportunity presented by her adversary's momentary openings, Finn strikes with lethal precision. With a swift thrust of her rapier, she pierces through the exposed flesh of one zombie, the blade finding its mark with deadly accuracy as she dispatches the undead foe in a single fluid motion. Another one down, more to go, Finn declares, her resolve unbroken as she shifts her focus to the next target. Drawing her short sword with practiced ease, Finn follows up with a quick slash that connects with another zombie, the blade carving a deep gash across its decaying form. The creature stumbles backward, a guttural moan escaping its gaping maw as Finn's relentless assault takes its toll. Alden channels the fury of his arcane powers and hurls a scorching firebolt at one of the zombies, the searing flames engulfing its withered form in a burst of fiery destruction. Gareth refuses to yield. With a fierce determination burning in his eyes, he rises from where he had been knocked down, his sturdy frame resolute despite the wounds he has endured. Not today, Gareth grumbles under his breath, his voice filled with determination as he grips his greatsword Talon tightly in his hands. Gareth brings Talon down in a powerful arc, the blade singing through the air as it cleaves through the defenses of a nearby zombie. The creature lets out a guttural groan as the enchanted steel rends through its decayed flesh. Feeling the strain of battle heavily upon him, Gareth takes a moment to gather his resolve. With a deep breath, he focuses his inner strength tapping into his reserves to summon the resilience needed to press on. Channeling his fighter's instincts, Gareth invokes his second wind, a surge of vitality coursing through his veins as his wounds begin to mend. I'm not done yet, Gareth mutters to himself. 
The battle between the party and the undead adversaries reaches a critical juncture. As the zombies lunge and strike with ferocious intent, Finn's agile reflexes allow her to evade a devastating slam attack, her movements akin to a dance of survival amidst the swirling melee. Elena commands her spiritual weapon to strike true, the ethereal mace cutting through the spectral veil to slam a zombie's decaying form. By the light of Saluna, be gone! She exclaims, her voice carrying a note of righteous determination. With a flick of her wrist, Elena unleashes Toll the Dead, the tolling bell of death echoing through the chamber as it takes its toll on another zombie, its necrotic energy sapping the creature's unholy vitality. Amidst the flurry of attacks and counterattacks, a critical moment unfolds as a zombie lands a brutal slam against Gareth, catching him off guard and dealing a devastating blow. The dwarf warrior staggers under the impact, his gritted teeth belying the pain he endures. Finn's rapier becomes a deadly instrument of precision as she dispatches another zombie with a swift and precise thrust, her movements honed by years of training and experience. Yet her subsequent short sword strike misses its mark. Alden unleashes a firebolt, the arcane streak of fire finds its mark and should have felled the zombie, yet the undead resilience proves formidable as the creature stubbornly remains standing, fueled by dark, necromantic forces. As the battle reaches its climax, Gareth, undeterred by the pain of his injuries, channels his fury into a devastating strike with Talon, his greatsword cleaving through the last remaining zombie with a resounding finality. Finally, Gareth roars triumphantly, his blade shimmering with the remnants of the battle. The chamber falls silent, save for the heavy breaths of the victorious party, their hearts pounding with adrenaline and the thrill of survival amidst the harrowing confrontation. As the echoes of battle subside, the party stands amidst the aftermath of their hard-won victory. The air is thick with the scent of burnt flesh and lingering magic. Finn wipes sweat and grime from her brow, her breaths coming in ragged gasps, as she surveys the chamber, her rapier still clutched tightly in hand. Gareth, his armor battered and scorched from the flame skull's attacks, leans heavily on Talon, his great sword, his brow furrowed in a mix of pain and determination. Well fought, everyone, he grunts, his voice a rough rasp as he addresses his companions. Elena, the cleric of Saluna, moves among the party with a gentle grace. Let me check your injuries, she says softly, her soothing words a balm to their wary spirits. Calling upon her channel divinity, she heals Gareth. Alden takes a moment to catch his breath, his hands still crackling with residual arcane energy. That flame skull was no ordinary foe, he remarks, his tone a mix of awe and caution. Amidst this scene of camaraderie and recovery, Nundro, who had stayed back during the battle, cautiously approaches the party. His eyes widen as he takes in the sight of fallen zombies and the shattered remains of the flame skull. By Moradin's beard, he mutters, his voice filled with awe and trepidation. Finn offers Nundro a reassuring smile. It's over now, she says, her voice steady despite the lingering adrenaline coursing through her veins. We've cleared the way, are you ready to press on? Nundro nods, his resolve bolstered by the sight of the party's triumph. Aye, I'll stand with you, he declares, his dwarven pride shining through his words. With renewed determination, the party takes some time to catch their breath and recover, knowing that the challenges ahead will require their full strength and unity. They share a brief moment of camaraderie, their bonds strengthened by the trials they face together before setting their sights on the path forward and to the east. As the party ventures into the starry cavern, a hushed awe fills the air at the sight that greets them. Glittering minerals embedded in the cavern ceiling twinkle like a thousand stars, casting a gentle ethereal light that bathes in the chamber in a mesmerizing glow. The effect is akin to standing beneath a vast open sky on a clear night, a serene and otherworldly beauty that momentarily steals their breath. Finn can't help but marvel at the spectacle. Look at that, she whispers, her eyes wide with wonder, as she gazes up at the shimmering ceiling. It's like we're standing under the night sky itself. Alden senses a subtle aura permeating the cavern. 
He gestures toward the northernmost room with a knowing look. There is magic here, he murmurs, his voice tinged with curiosity. Stronger over there. Gareth, ever vigilant, scans the area for any signs of danger despite the tranquil ambiance, his hand instinctively resting on the hilt of Talon. Beautiful as it may be, we can't afford to let her guard down. Nundro takes in the sight before him. I've never seen anything like this, he admits, his dwarf-sized footsteps echoing softly against the cavern floor. The skeletons scattered across the floor serve as a grim reminder of the past conflicts that ravaged these once hallowed halls. Their silent presence adds a somber note to the otherwise enchanting scene. As they make their way towards the damaged rooms, each step echoing in the cavernous space, the party remains vigilant, their senses attuned to any potential threats that may lurk in the shadows of the starlit sanctuary. The party steps into the northern structure known as the Forge of Spells. A sense of ancient power and lingering enchantment washes over them. The once majestic workshop now bears the scars of a violent past, with scorched work tables and walls bearing witness to the destructive forces that once ravaged this place. Nundro, his eyes wide with both trepidation and curiosity, takes in the sight before them. By Moradin's beard, he mutters, his voice barely above a whisper, as he surveys the damaged workshop. This place has seen better days. Before the party can fully take in the surroundings, their attention is drawn to the eerie green flame dancing and crackling in a small brazier atop a stone pedestal. Floating behind the brazier is a strange, spherical creature with eye stalks protruding from its central mass. The large eye in its center fixes its gaze upon the party as it speaks in a raspy voice that resonates in their minds. Greetings, travelers, the creature intones, a curious mix of weariness and authority. I am the guardian of this place, called forth by my master long ago. I was tasked to serve for 101 years, ensuring the safety of the Forge of Spells. Finn takes a step forward, her eyes flickering between the creature and the green flame. What are you? she asks, her voice steady despite the tension in the air. And who is your master? The spectator, its eyes narrowing slightly, responds. I am known as a spectator, bound to this place by ancient magic. My master, a renowned wizard of old, tasked me with safeguarding the enchantments within these walls. Alden, his mind already racing with thoughts of magical artifacts and hidden knowledge, speaks up next. We mean no harm, he assures the creature, his tone diplomatic yet determined. The spectator regards the party with a mixture of suspicion and curiosity, its eye stalks swiveling to assess each member. Gareth, with a furrowed brow, poses a question that lingers in the air, like a silent challenge. If this mine has been out of commission for centuries, he begins, his voice steady yet tinged with curiosity. Why do you still linger in these depths? The spectator, its central eye gleaming with another worldly intelligence, responds with a conviction that borders on fervor. This mine is not out of operation, it declares, its tone unwavering. My master's enchantments endure, and I remain steadfast in my duty to protect the Forge of Spells. Alden, ever perceptive, senses a hint of instability in the creature's demeanor, a subtle discordance that sets off alarm bells in his mind. With a quick glance exchanged with his companions, he formulates a plan. Perhaps, he suggests with a diplomatic tone, it's time to reassess your service, my friend. The spectator's eye stalks twitch slightly, its gaze fixed intently on Alden as if trying to decipher his intentions. Explain, it demands, a note of caution creeping into its raspy voice. Alden adopts a confident posture. I am Alden, a wizard in service of the owners of Wave Echo Cave, he declares, his voice carrying an air of authority. We have come to commend your vigilance and dedication. Nundro, catching on quickly, nods in agreement, adding his voice to Alden's words. You've done a fantastic job, he chimes in, his tone genuine, yet persuasive. 
Alden reassures. But it is time to rest, knowing your duty has been fulfilled. The spectator, its demeanor shifting from suspicion to contemplation, seems to weigh Alden's words carefully. After a moment of tense silence, it nods slowly, a sense of relief evident in its posture. Very well, it concedes, its voice softer now, tinged with gratitude. I shall return to my home dimension, knowing my service here is complete. With a flicker of green flame and a faint shimmer, the spectator disappears, leaving behind a palpable sense of quietude in the once tense atmosphere of the Forge of Spells. The party exchanges glances, a silent acknowledgement of their success in navigating the delicate intricacies of ancient magic and guardian spirits. And that is where we leave our group of adventurers. Thanks a ton for watching, special thanks goes out to my patrons, you're all amazing. If you'd like access to the art I've been using in this series like backgrounds, NPCs, and characters, come join us on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, and we will catch you all in the next one.